taxes against the rapidly growing population of migrant workers, mostly from South Asia and Africa. In the Danusha district of Nepal, young men flocked to Qatar, many borrowing large sums to get there for the chance to make some money and build a future. Families left behind say there were no other good options. Before her husband, Muneshwar, went to Qatar, Aslani Daviyadav says he was paid only four kilograms of rice a day for his work in Nepal. He died in Qatar in 2018. We had small children at that time. So he decided to go for foreign employment to earn money for the food and their schooling. Muneshwar worked in construction, often carrying heavy loads to the top of skyscrapers under construction. Despite this danger, he died at night, and his family was told it was of heart failure. His body was brought 15 days after the death. After that, we performed his last rites and rituals at our home. Amnesty International says most of the death certificates issued to the families of the deceased migrant workers list some kind of heart failure or natural causes of death. Doctors say healthy young men do not die naturally. But this ruling means employers are not legally or financially responsible for the death. And Yadav, like other families left behind, now struggles to survive. There is no source of income after my husband's death. I sold my land. I am running my home from the money from the land sale. When that money is gone, Yadav says her children will have to work because she doesn't make enough money selling milk from her one buffalo to support the family. A 2021 Guardian newspaper investigation revealed that more than 6,500 migrant workers have died in Qatar since the World Cup was awarded. Qatari World Cup officials declined to be interviewed for